Oh yeah, I'm Average Dad and we're back home here at Knott's Berry Farm. We're gonna be taking a look at the brand new item that is at the Wilderness Boyer. Plus, we're gonna wander around and see if we can find any brand new merchandise. We're gonna start the day off right here at Peanuts Headquarters. So right off the back as we start to walk in, all this right here is brand new or it's brand new to me as you can see to the right we have this knott's berry farm authentic 1950s peanut shirt for the little ones that you can get for 27.99 now they also have it in black down below they have these breathable sweaters right here for 47.99 they have it in this red a gray and for the ladies they have this pink one now immediately to my left here is some other colors for the Knott's Berry Farm authentic shirts. These ones are primarily going to be for the gentlemen. We have a gray one on the left. We have a blue one on the right. And check out these hats right here. Now these hats are going to be $24.99. You just have a straight gray one. You have a black one. And when we go over here, check out these sweaters. Now it is coming up on summer so it might be a little too hot for these one thing i do like these are crafted with pride in the us of a you have this one for 42.99 they have this thermal one for 34.99 and we flip right around us they do have some other jackets for 49.99 right here i like this whole color scheme right here this is a brand new shirt too you get this Knott's berry farm shirt for 32.99 and this is another sweater that i like for 42.99 Love that color scheme and as we walk over here here's some other Knott's Berry Farm American original shirts You get both of these right here for $24.99 I'm liking this sweater right here for $49.99 This one looks pretty thick. It's gonna keep you warm and look at these new arrivals now These are some Joe cool stuff. It's been established right there 1971 you got some shorts for the ladies you got this right here for $49.99 Let's make our way to the back of the peanut headquarters and look what my mom found. For $30, you can get this awesome Snoopy purse. And I mean, it doesn't go really that deep, but you can put some stuff in there. And this is one thing that I noticed that, that is new. They are no longer band bow building blocks. They are now linus, but these are brand new. Look, they got a circus one over here. And if you are looking for any of the boysenberry items, they have them in this back corner. And they also have the spooky farm gear back here. Let's see if it's still on sale. Okay, it's looking like these are no longer on sale. Now let's head back to this area. Do you guys remember back in the day before this was this? It used to be a sports memorabilia area. Now I'm not seeing anything new as of right now except these items that we've already seen up front that's about it for everything in the peanut headquarters let's make our way across the street and see if we can find anything new at the marketplace here at virginia's gift shop so let's make our way inside virginia's gift shop now this is new, I mean, new to me. I don't remember seeing this visor right here and you can grab this Knott's visor for $19.99. It is about to be summertime, so you might wanna grab one of those. Now, if you are a pin collector like me, you can find all your pins right here. But as of right now, I'm really not seeing anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is new, well, at least new to me. I don't even remember seeing these. So check out these hats. You have a boysenberry hat, turnips, strawberries. Now I do believe we saw these at the peanut celebration. I'm not quite too sure. I remember they had uh, this kind of set up in the front of Knott's Berry Farm when you entered. And you can actually grab these for $24.99. They also have all the boysenberry items still here in this corner. Oh wait, wait, look. This has changed over here. It looks like they're starting to bring out actually more 100th anniversary gear. Yeah, last time I was here in Virginia's gift shop, this area wasn't like this. So yeah, it's changing up a little bit. They got a toy train in a tin express kit right here. And look at this coffee cup that they have right here. It's a Knott's Berry Farm, Ghost Town, and Calico Railroad. Now that we've looked outside real quick, let's go ahead and make our way inside the park. Now remember, Knott's Berry Farm is cashless. Some of you are like, what? 
Nuts Berry Farm cashless. Well, I have cash. Where am I supposed to convert my cash to card? Well, before you enter the park to the right of the entrance right here, you can actually find this ready to go station and they have multiple locations inside the park. We made it inside Knott's Berry Farm and I've said it plenty of times in other videos. This right here is the benefit of being a pass holder during the off season. Look at the crowd level, man. The crowd level is practically non-existent. Now, if you were here for the Boys and Berry Festival, especially during spring break, you know how crowded Knott's Berry Farm got. It got kind of crazy. I mean, check out Main Street, dude. Main Street is empty. And if you do come during the off season, I'm telling you, you can probably go on every single ride here within the first hour. You got the blacksmith working really hard over here. Yeah, I just love the sights and sounds. Morning, how you doing today? Morning, how about yourself? Good, good. Hard at work. Yeah. Making some horseshoes? I'm actually making a striker for a dinner bell right now. Oh, nice. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your guys' hard work. You guys have a great day. Sights and sounds here at Knott's Berry Farm can never get old. Woo! And I know all the pass holders are happy that it is the off season. Fireman's Brigade is a hot spot. Usually opens up around 11 o'clock and already look at the line. Since the Boys and Berry Festival is over, Knott's Berry Farm is bringing back the specialty items that they usually have at the Wilderness Broiler. Yesterday was the opening day for the new item. It's around 10.58 right now. So we have a couple of minutes till Wilderness Broiler opens. So let's go ahead and go around this bin right here to check on the construction and how far along it is of the new restaurant. But this is my favorite thing to do, so you know what time it is. It's time to get somebody wet. Oh, got him. Check it out. Now, last time I was here, they were not this far along, but they have got a lot of work done. Now, I'm not quite too sure when this is supposed to open. I believe right before summertime or right after summertime. Let's go around here and see if we can get a better look. And if you guys do not know what the restaurant is, this is gonna be it right here. It's gonna be a prop shop pizzeria and an Italian kitchen. You know what, let's go ahead and cheat real quick. There's a little hole right here. Look at that. They have a lot done. As you can see, inside they have some pipes laid down already. Yeah, man, this is gonna be a great place to eat. And if we walk down a little further past Wheeler Dealer right here, this is gonna be the new location of the bathrooms that was right over there. So let's check out the construction here. Looks like the gentlemen here are hard at work for the new bathroom. And before we go back to get the new food, Cordy's Corner is still closed. If anybody knows what's up with Cordy's Corner, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. Now that we're done with the updates, let's get back to the food. Wilderness Broiler just opened up and the new item is gonna be the meatloaf sandwich with a bacon jam and onions with a side of fries. We grabbed our meatball sandwich. This thing's looking pretty hefty. So let's go ahead and sit down and get into this one. I wanna give a huge shout out to the associate Val that does work at the Wilderness Broiler. She let me know that Wilderness Broiler no longer has the special sauce they used to put on the spicy chicken sandwich. Now it is the Nashville spicy sauce that they used to have up at Sutter's. So if you're looking for a spicy chicken sandwich, a Nashville style one, go ahead and hit up the Wilderness Broiler. But let's look at this meatball sandwich. Let's lift the bun up and see the meatball. Dude, that is looking pretty good. Now on the very top is gonna be a bacon jam, which has a little bit of a dahlia onions on it, and they top it off with a little bit of extra barbecue sauce. I believe this bacon jam is the same bacon jam that we did see at Wilderness Broiler for that open face chicken sandwich donut. This meatloaf sandwich is pretty good. The meatloaf was cooked perfectly, as you can see right here. The meatloaf size is very generous. Knott's is always generous with their portion sizes here. You get a nice tanginess from the barbecue sauce and the bacon jam gives it a nice little sweetness because of the Vidalia onions. This really reminds me of like a high grade McRib. Would I get this again? I would for sure get this again. Now you can only get this item for I believe for the next two weeks. Now how would I rate this? 
I'm gonna go ahead and give this meatloaf sandwich a solid six out of 10. And if you are a pass holder here and you have the meal plan, I highly recommend you stopping on by Wilderness Broiler and checking this item out. Well, that's gonna be it for us today here at Knott's Berry Farms. So thank you to every single one of you coming out today here for this little quick trip to Knott's Berry Farm. Remember, we cannot do this without every single one of you. So thank you very much for every single one of your support. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and go down below and subscribe because we would love to have you on future adventures. You guys have a great day and we will catch you next video. Deuces.